I want to talk about the famous book by Elijah Muhammad, How to Eat to Live. Um, where did Elijah Muhammad learn about food? And where did the idea to eat once a day come from? What a beautiful question. These two books, How to Eat to Live, book one and book two, these are the supreme nutritional guide for man. They really represent the uh, dietary owner's manual from God on how to get the best use out of this vehicle. And you look at the cover of it, he tells you where he got it from. From God in person, Master Father Muhammad. Think, oh, that's a bold statement. He's saying God taught him this, fulfilling what was written of him uh, in both Bible and Holy Quran. In the Holy Quran, in the third chapter, it says that when the last one comes that will be Messiah, he would do this. He would teach the Torah, that's the Old Testament, Gospel, the New Testament, the book, Holy Quran, and the wisdom. And he would teach you what foods to eat and what to store in your house. Jesus said it like this, I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Well, you can't have a may unless there's a program given and you follow it and you get life and life more abundantly, you don't follow it. So in it is, is the science of expression. When you unpack both those scriptures from the Bible and Quran, it's saying that the last messenger is going to teach you how to eat, to live. So he got it from God in person. And, and what he revealed to us over 90 years ago is now still unfolding and unpacking and people are starting to realize it to this day. So one meal a day was given to him by Master Father Muhammad. But a, the, the way that a student should be is that anytime that a messenger makes a revelation, he doesn't have to give you an explanation, he gave you a revelation. Your job as a student is to go dig in to ask why and get the explanation. So we've been, as his students, uh, taking that body of knowledge going in to get the explanation that supports the revelation. And in even really white people all over the world are doing the same thing. So, so he said eat one meal a day. He said eating three meals a, a day will wear out the stunk, stomach of even a brass monkey, he said. Well, everybody thought that, you know, I'm supposed to be eating three meals a day. That's what I've been taught all of my, my life. And I even was told that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Question is, is it in the scripture? Where'd you get it from? God didn't say it, Kellogg said it. And they were trying to get you to buy the cereal that they was producing. So, so when you go and look at the digestion, it takes 24 hours to digest one meal, to go from the uh, large to uh, intestine, small intestine, and to make it all the way out the system for the body to break it down and extract the benefit and get rid of the waste. It takes 24 hours to break down one meal. Well, that means that if I eat two meals, I'm living two days on the inside of my body, and I'm only living really one. So I'm wearing out my system the more that I eat. He said eat one meal a day. What is he saying? It gives you a ch your body a chance to break down that meal, extract that which is tonic, healing and good for you, and also break down and discard that which is toxic. But if you eat three, now your body's still working on the tonic and the toxic from one, now you done slapped another meal on it. Now it's got to wrestle with the toxins from that. I can't get to all the toxins from the last meal because I'm working on this new. Then you come back with a snack. Then you come back. By the time we get finished with it, we are full of toxins. Uh, and we find ourselves suffering from illness and sickness unnecessarily. So the most honorable Elijah Muhammad was taught that uh, by God. Then he took it to another level. He said, you don't have to just eat one meal a day. He said, if you eat one meal a day and fast three days out of a month, he said, you'll hardly ever get sick. He said, but if you don't want to ever get sick, just eat one meal and then nothing the next day and then eat one meal every other day. Think about that. He said that at the most you may get sick once every two or three years. Uh, scientists are now bearing witness to it. You've seen them do these experiments uh, on on. Uh, mice 
And you know, the white man, he loves taking credit for everything. They call it the OMAD diet. OMAD is an acronym, one meal a day. It ain't, it ain't talking about no Neanderthal. It's talking about what they borrowed from the wisdom that God gave the honor of Elijah Muhammad that they want to take credit for. But that is the science uh, of it. And, and the better and more we bring our lives to be disciplined to it, the better we'll be uh, in health and spirit moving forward. And how was it for you initially transitioning to eat healthy when you started? Well, it's, it was a challenge because it's so much, it's more expensive. So, you know, I was used to, when we was coming up, we was used to going to Aldi's <laughs> and just getting, you know, 600 cookies for $3. You know, frozen burritos from 20 for 27 cents a piece. And when I came up, I thought that Jesus sent Raymond noodles. I thought God brought these. I, had, I was getting them for 17 cents a pack. Oh, I thought this was from God. So I ended up coming into the teachings and started to want to buy good produce, fresh produce, and heard the best of the fresh was organic. So I went to the store with my little basket to the health food store, and I'm used to pushing a whole cart at Aldi's, filling a whole cart up, my bill be $32. I got this little basket. I brought it up there, I'm saying, well, 30, $32 for a whole cart, it's gonna be about $9. Lady rung up all this organic stuff and told me it's going to be a hundred and some odd. I said, what? I said, never mind. I don't want none of it. And look what she said to me. She said, aren't you worth it? I said, man, I never looked at it like that. I said, well, give me half of it. I'm worth about $50 worth of it. But, but that, that was the, the, the challenge, and um, I can say that I still have not uh, mastered how to eat to live, but I'm striving uh, to do so. I, I first came in contact with the how to eat to live and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad made a statement. He said inside of beef, there were 21 drugs pumped into to cows that were harmful to the human body. This was in the 60s. And he was saying that because these drugs are in the meat, that you become addicted to it. So before I even joined the nation, I was 16. I said, I'm just gonna stop eating beef and see if I start craving it. I craved it for two years. Then I said, man, I wonder if chicken, same way. And I craved chicken for five years. So I said, it, it, is, it is true. So um, I end up becoming a vegetarian at the age of, right before I turned 17. And I have been one now for 32 years. And I can say that I feel now at the age of 48 better than I felt at the age of 15 by following, not even to the letter, not 100%, but following how to eat to live by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Have you went through periods where you ate one meal a day? I, I do that as a general rule. And I have done one meal every other day for a few years. How was that? It was, it was challenging. Um, the first time I did it, I was, uh, well, I wasn't really a vegetarian. I just was a dude that didn't eat meat. Yeah. And there's a difference. <laughs> you can't, you, you can be, because a vegetarian means you're supposed to be eating vegetables. Bread but, and fries yeah, and but by this world, you eat pizza and spaghetti every day and still be called a vegetarian. So the first time I did it, I wasn't eating like I should. The second time I was, I was doing it, I was training, uh, doing marathon training. So I was running 60, 70 miles a week and trying to eat one meal every other day. So it, uh, it became too taxing on my, my mind. I was, I was overworking myself. So I said, well, let me finish this marathon, uh, go back to one meal a day, and then I'm a, when I'm done with this training, I'm gonna go back to one meal every other day. And I did not uh, return to it, but God willing, I'm gonna get there uh, and then hopefully get to the discipline of just eating one meal. 
And the, the uh, every three days, one meal every other day. The day that you're not eating anything, I take it you can have just water. You can't have like a smoothie or a fruit thing. Just water. just water and a, and a little coffee or some tea. That's it. That's all that you eat throughout. Uh, you don't eat, but that's what you do. You just drink some water and coffee uh, throughout the day, and and you feel pretty good. You feel you you you're very clear, and you're non-distracted. You'll be surprised how much mental energy we waste figuring out what we're going to eat, when we're going to eat, where we're going to eat, and then actually sitting down eating. When that's not on your mind, now you can focus on things that's more significant and important. And so I, like now I have a little thing I've done. Um, I don't eat breakfast and lunch. I eat dinner. So I asked, what is the average? This was six years ago. What's the average cost that a person would spend eating lunch and breakfast at home, and the math come up came up to about fifteen dollars a day. I said, so fifteen dollars a day, I have it in my account where I have a breakfast and lunch withdrawal come out of my account, and I put it into a savings account. Do you know? After a couple of years of doing this, I never even looked at the money. I was able to go buy a Jag Cash used one. Then I sold it and then did it again and went and bought a Tesla cash from breakfast and lunch money. So not only does how to eat to live save your life, it also will save your money. And you'll be free to do with that money uh, other things. Imagine that. Now if I go to one meal every other day, I can, I can add uh, another 15 to that, and now I'm doing saving probably $130, $140 a week. What could you do with the extra $520 a month over the course of a, a year, putting you at over $16,000 that you just put up just from being disciplined with your diet? So it saves your life, but it also saves your pocket too.